for three. It's pretty close. At this point in our lives, two things are certain. Messes and laundry. Swish. And I guess taxes, bills, dirty diapers, car trouble. But mostly messes and laundry. And more often than not, those two come together. In our new home, we want to try and keep the mess to a minimum and make laundry easier and cheaper to do when we have to do it. And here is how we are going to make that happen. Pre-sort your laundry. And I know that sounds super basic and super obvious, and it is, but you'd be surprised how many people don't actually pre-sort their laundry. We never used to either. We used to just keep all of our clothes, my wife's clothes, my clothes, our son's clothes, stuffed together in one big duffel bag, and then we would haul that off to the laundromat, and that was it. But now that we live in a, an actual house, we have our washing machine and dryer down in the basement, we've upgraded from a duffel bag to this four bag laundry sorter, and we love it. We love this kind of thing because with this many bags, you can sort your laundry any way you want. You can do uh, by color, you can do by clothing type, you can do by person. We've opted to sort by person. So my wife has her own bag, I have my own bag, and our son has two full bags for himself, despite being two years old. Um, and quite frankly, it's still not enough, which is absolutely ridiculous. How does he go through so many? But we really love this thing because now we can sort all of our laundry at the source of the laundry in all of our bedrooms rather than taking all the laundry down and sorting it at the machine. And even if you do have to make a trek to a laundromat, something like this is actually super helpful because your laundry is already sorted and let's say you need to wash this bag of clothes. It's this easy. Pick it up and take it to the laundromat. And if you do need to move the entire thing, it's easy because it has wheels. <laughs> so as I'm sure everyone with a family knows, having this many people under one roof and this many clothes, it's hard to keep track of how everything needs to be washed. Some things require special treatment. Maybe something can't go in the dryer. Maybe something can't be washed with warm water. It's, it's tough to know. So we keep track and avoid mistakes by actually keeping notes on our washing and drying machine using a dry erase marker. You can also draw funny faces on your machines that scare your kids. We've been looking for a way to cut down on the use of um, our fabric softener and dryer sheets while still finding a way to keep our clothes reasonably soft. So what we did is we soaked a small towel in fabric softener, we let it air dry, and then we toss it in with every load of laundry going into the dryer. It has helped keep our clothes relatively soft while making them smell spring breezy. And it has helped us cut down on our use of fabric softener and dryer sheets, saving us money. You ever been in a rush and needed your dryer to dry things more quickly? Well, try something that worked for us. What we do is, if our dryer isn't too full already, we throw a dry towel into the dryer with all our wet clothes, and we let it tumble around with them for 15 to 20 minutes. And what that does is it actually draws moisture from the wet clothes and helps them to dry that much quicker. But don't leave it in there longer than 15 to 20 minutes because after that it really kind of stops working. It actually makes things dry a little bit slower. So make sure 15 to 20 minutes, take it out, and then everything will be dry a little quicker. You should do it. It's a good tip. Trust me. The other day I had a meeting to go to and all my nice shirts were completely wrinkled from being packed away in boxes during the move and we can't seem to find our iron anywhere. So I had to improvise and I used this quick fix. I took my shirt, I threw it in the dryer. I also threw in one single ice cube and that towel that I had soaked in fabric softener. I threw all that into the dryer, let it run for 10 minutes and the shirt came out looking great and smelling wonderful. We wanna try and keep this place as clutter free as possible. And I've always kind of hated the traditional laundry baskets that everyone seems to have. When you're not using them, they just sit on top of your washer or dryer and take up space and do nothing and make it all cluttery. So we decided not to get those and instead we picked up Early Sweet Utility Tote. Now we love this thing because look at this, it's huge, it's big enough to keep all your folded laundry in, carry it upstairs, put it all away. It's got three pockets right along the front to keep your undies, your socks or your detergents or whatever you want. It's got Really, really strong handles on it as well in case you're carrying really heavy laundry, I guess. And my favorite part is that when you're done with it and you want to put it away, you're not using it, 
The supports inside come up really easy. Squish it together and bam, you're ready to store it. You can store it anywhere you want like this. And if you need it again, no problem because bam, tote mode, just like that. I love these things, they're awesome. And not just for laundry, they're good for a million different things. But we'll do another video on that later because literally a million things this thing is good for. I love it, I'm never going back, just saying. Laundry doesn't have to be daunting or difficult. And with these tips, you might actually enjoy it. Uh, yeah, no, probably not. No, that'd be, that'd be crazy. But it'll at least make it easier, so. With that said, it's time to wrap up this episode of the Tidy Vlog. But don't worry, we'll be back with so many more videos about how to keep your home and your life organized and tidy. So make sure you subscribe, you don't wanna miss it. And if you know anyone who might enjoy our videos, please share them, because we wanna reach as many people as possible. And if you have any home hacks on how to keep your laundry organized or how to keep your closets, kitchens, bedrooms organized and tidy, share them with us in the comments section down below or better yet, take a video of you doing that home hack and tag us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and we'll feature in a future video. That'd be pretty cool. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.